Hi guys, today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make lightning in Eevee. So we'll be using Blender 2.8 today, and this is what it's going to look like at the end. Okay, so start up a new file, and delete the default cube and replace it with a plane. You want to scale it down on the x-axis, and up on the y-axis, maybe that long. This will be the final length of your lightning beam, so you can change it to whatever you want. Just make sure it's fairly thin on the x-axis. And what we're going to do is go into edit mode by clicking tab, um, and then loop cut, control R. And this makes a bunch of cuts along the plane. Now what we're going to do is add um, maybe about a hundred of these. You can do these manually, or if you look at the bottom left corner, it tells you how many loop cuts there are, and you can just type, say, 100. You don't need too many. Um, I think 100's enough. You shouldn't bog down your computer too much. It's only 200 vertices. Uh, and then click again to place the loop cuts. Now you can go back out of edit mode by hitting tab. And then we want to go add a displacement modifier. Okay, so it's not going to look like anything because we need to make a new texture. And we'll call this texture uh, light in space. You want to change the type to clouds. Uh, change the type to hard. And now we need to reduce the size of this by a little bit. You can play with the other settings if you want. Alright, so that looks good. And now, ideally you want to... So, right now, it doesn't really look like anything. Like, if you were to play the animation, nothing would happen. So, we need to animate this displacement texture. And you might also actually want to turn up the strength a little bit, depending on how exaggerated you want this lightning effect to be. So how do we animate this texture? Well, you can't do it through uh, any nodes that I can figure out. So another way to do this is change the texture coordinates based on an object, and we'll make an empty. So this is just going to be the focus of our displacement, and it's going to be where where we're we're going to be moving this um, and animating it in order to figure out where this texture is. So you need to change the object to the focus. And now you can see as we move the focus, the texture also moves, which changes the position of all this uh, displacement. Now you can move it on pretty much any axis. It generally, if you move it uh, left to right, the lightning kind of follows it. Not too closely, but yeah, any axis will do. I prefer to move it on an axis perpendicular to the wave doesn't really matter. So uh, to do this quickly, all you have to do is hit, so you want to move it to one side, the lightning, make sure your uh, keyframe selector thing is like on one or zero, hit I and insert a keyframe for the location, then we'll move to the final frame, say 100, move it way over there, I again, location, and you want to change the sound frame again. And so you can see we have this like constantly changing shape. Now another thing we should do in order to make this look a little bit more uniform is add a solidify modifier to it. There's going to be a couple of like edge artifacts when you do this, like here, but it doesn't really matter because we're not really shading it. So what you want to do instead is, so what you want to do is add a material, so we click new, yeah. name it whatever you like. And this is going to be really easy, so all you have to do is change it to an emission type, turn up the strength, and you can change the color to whatever you like. 
I'm gonna go for a, a nice fuchsia. And make sure you change this render engine to Eevee because that's what we're going to be using. And you turn on Bloom. Oh, actually, let's turn off Bloom just to see what it looks like. All right. Now, if you turn on Bloom, we have nice looking texture. Sorry, output. You can even turn up the emission a little bit more. And there we go. We have our lightning texture. Uh, sorry, we have our lightning effect. Now if you want, you can go center your camera on it. Maybe from the front. You go control alt zero. And there we have it. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Sorry, also, I thought of something else. Uh, as a side note, if you want, you can also animate the color, which I think would look pretty cool. So what we can do is we can, we'll start at frame one, we'll mouse over this color, and we'll hit I, then we'll move to frame 20, and we'll change it to a nice orange, hit I again, Frame 40, move it along, 60, green, 80, bluish purple, and then for the last frame, if you want it to go back to the original color, all you have to do is go to find that. Um, you could memorize these, or you could just copy the hex code, hit Control C. Go to the last frame, paste it in, and then hit I again. Make sure this changes color from orange to that yellow. Now we have a cool color changing uh, lightning wave. Also, if you don't want if you want the centers of these things to be white instead of like orangey, make sure you move to so that frame 20. So make sure you move you don't have this on the edge of the color wheel. You want to move it in a little bit. Um, and remember, if you make any changes, you have to hit I again. Uh, I'll hit it twice just to make sure, so the changes actually come into effect and don't just get overwritten. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.